Last but not least, Warlocks, we are going to be looking at the chest piece, helmet, and the arms for you guys from the Cowboy set. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have not seen the Hunter or Titan videos, I'll have it on right now. Um, yeah, we go through some of the example sets that I've made. I like them a lot. They're probably one of my more favorite sets that I've made. And it also just helps with uh, my analytics and whatnot for you guys to see those videos. But other than that, let's just get into it. So for the first set, we're going to be looking at the coil lasso. Now, this is funny because I've actually made a cowboy look in the Ophidian aspect video. I'll have it up right now. And the only thing we're really taking away from that Ophidian aspect video is probably just the fact that we're using the Wrath Trail robes and maybe the Starfarer boots. I think those are the only two aside from obviously coil lasso. I think those three are the only pieces that I'm actually reusing. Other than that, the helmet is obviously different. And I think the bond is different as well. Although you could switch it out for something else. The bond's really not that important. I would probably go with a basic rope that the warlocks have. I think that would be a lot better just because cowboys, ropes, that kind of just makes sense to me. For the helmet, obviously we're using the cowboy helmet. I think this looks really good with this whole set. Not only that, when you combine it with the Wrath Trail robes, it looks super cool because obviously the Wrath Trail robes is text mechanic inspired so you will have the text mechanical logo on the lapel and then one on the hat itself so it's super super cool which is why i wanted to combine them for the boots or using these starfarers boots but if i'm being quite honest with you guys i would just use the wrath trail road boots just because i would use the wrath trail boots instead just because they look a lot better because starfarers boots i think look a little too bougie bougie specifically the left piece i think the right side would have been fine it's just the left piece is a little too bougie which makes sense because the starfarer's chest piece uh, is covering the right leg instead of the leg the left leg the left leg is actually open so it, it makes sense for it to be bougie but i would probably just stick with the wrath trail boots just because they look way better for the bond we're using the lichen rope or the lichen bond my bad and to be quite honest i i think this is fine i think it looks super cool and i will probably rock this instead of just rope even though rope makes more sense to me so for the shader we're using the canis coat this is like one of my favorite shaders if i want to do a cowboy look just because a lot of the colors are super super good there's a lot of brown in there there's a lot of dark colors in, the, in there as well the only issue is the fact that if you guys see the boots right now you guys will see that it actually has like a really shiny look and that would probably be my only negative about this shader but again if you use wrath trail robes that should be be fixed because i think it's like either i think it's a combination of like a black color and an orange color this is specifically the ones you see now so not not, not much to say about this one it is uh, an armor set that i pretty much uh copy and pasted from another one but i think this one just does it way better if anything i, I could probably switch out shaders here and there and maybe change the boots to the wrath trail boat boots and it would just look amazing as for the second piece, I'm going to be using Coil Lasso again, specifically with the combination of the cowboy boot or chest piece, just because I wanted to see how it would look. And with the Wrath Trail boots, I think it looks super cool. My only gripe with it, like I said in the review video of this of the whole armor set, I'll have it right now, is the fact that the female chest piece just looks really weird. It looks I think it's the titties. The titties just look kind of weird. It's the fact that like the leather strip on the titties just kind of make it look really weird and in some angles the titty looks like it's up and the other one's down so it looks super weird um i'm to be fair i've been wanting to change my warlock to a male for a while i just don't want to redo everything i did on my female on my titan or i mean my female warlock on my male warlock i just don't want to go through that uh for the helmet we're using the illicit reaper hood just because this one is this one was the actual helmet I used for my cowboy look for the Ophidians, which is right here. And then the homeward uh, bond, which is the rope one that I was talking about. So not, not, not much to talk about this one as well, just because I wanted to use a cowboy piece. And unfortunately, I think the Warlocks only have really the coil lasso from Ophidians, which is unfortunate because I would have liked to see a little bit more. Uh, it would have been really cool to see some cool boots but to be fair i did it i don't think we have anything cool for warlock specifically boots that are cowboy themed but hopefully we've got a little more considering the warlocks have not only the text mechanic inspired armor set but they also got the uh dungeon armor that is also text mechanica so i would have appreciated more cowboy themed pieces although hunters really should get more considering we are the 
basically the cowboys of the game is i mean to me at least and last but not least i ended up going with another wild card if you guys have seen my titan and hunter video again they're right here then you guys will know that the third armor set is kind of like a wild card this one is no different i actually think this look came, this came amazing so helmet we're using we're not using the star fairs i don't know why it's coming up as a star fair we're using the virtuous helmet just because i feel like it's way better i did end up i was trying to use the star fairs hood but i just decided against it for the arms again we're using the base look of the cowboy set specifically the technicanica from the dungeon for the robes we're actually using the veritas robes in combination with geomag stabilizers just the base look of it i didn't want anything too crazy which is why i'm not using any of the ornaments and then for the bond we're using the prefectus bond again didn't want anything too crazy because i want the blue of the virtuous helmet to be the thing that you see because that is also why i'm using the metro shift shader because i think it's so close to the actual color of the visor so nothing too crazy to say about this one i just really wanted to combine it with the arms in combination with the veritas robes just because i feel like those two really melt together really well the only annoyance i have is the fact that the arms look kind of bulky compared to the actual arms themselves so i think that would be the only negative i have about this whole set so warlocks let me know what you guys think in the comments below again uh, I should be having the Ormine's Avatar set. I Unfortunately, I only have one piece for each of them, and I'm also not the biggest fan of all of them. I mean, to be fair, they all look cool. I might just make the chess piece video and that's it because I have been trying to find pieces and I just cannot, like, I cannot make any of them work. So we might just make a chess video for that one specifically, but um other armor sets that we'll get in the future i'll probably do it in this format where each class gets their own separate video so that way people can just watch the one that they want or just watch them all please <laughs> but yeah we'll do that for the iron banner armor set because we are definitely using multiple pieces of that set because all of them have so much potential to be used in other pieces specifically like i already have uh all of the material for transmog i'm i'm gonna destroy it on all of the armor sets for each of the classes so that's five synth weaves that i'm just gonna use on all that armor because all of it has potential to be used in every set that i use so warlocks let me know what you guys think classes let me know what you all thought about your own be safe i appreciate y'all and i'll see you guys later